Go ahead. Hello, this is Jack Buckley with Ensign Yachts again. I, uh, every once in a while I see something on the dock that kind of uh, bothers me and every and so I want to try and give you a tip from time to time to make your boating uh, experience a little nicer and more pleasant and safer too. So what we have here is a typical way that a lot of uh, boat owners will tie up their boat and uh, you'll see they've done a nice job of trying to make things look nautical here with the Flemish coils but unfortunately the um, uh, the lines here are nothing wrong with putting two lines on one cleat, but you'll notice that uh, the the knots are a little bit messed up and it uh, could very easily be jammed. So let's kind of undo this and just see how difficult it might be. Now one of the reasons obviously we want to untie a boat quickly is it might be under some stress. It might be taking on water. Uh, it might uh, might be banging into the dock. You need to relieve the tension on one of the lines, and you want to get it undone quickly. And I have this little term I sometimes call it, uh, uh, you know, boaters macrame, where they just sit there and they figure, well, one knot's good, so let's do six on top of them, you know. But uh, you want to be able to get it undone quickly. So let's just undo this first, see what we got. So we'll take this loop off. Now you'll notice this loop here is kind of jammed by the tension on this line. So if it was even more pronounced, it would be really hard to get this line off this horn of this cleat. Luckily, it's not too bad at this point. We can take it off. And it's now jammed on this one a little bit. So we'll just take this one off here and put it aside. So this one here is done incorrectly. So don't pay attention to this much. We're gonna redo it right for the guy. We'll take that was one knot. Here's a second knot. And then we've got a couple of figure eights going on there. So the way this ought to be done properly <coughs> is depending on how the line is coming from the boat, you want to go around either the near the near horn or the far horn. You want to go around the far horn first, all the way around one time, not again around this way because this line could bind and keep this from coming loose again. So you go around only one time, cross over the cleat, around that far horn one more time, and then on this side you just flip this line under, put it over the horn on the near side, and pull it tight. And what you end up with is two lines underneath one, and as the tension on the boat pulls, it actually cinches down on the top, holding the rest of it nice and snug. One knot's all you need, it's not going to come undone. And if you want to add on a second line, go right ahead, put it around the far horn again, all the way around, cross over, cross over once, and then make that loop. And again, you end up with two lines underneath one, one knot, and you're all done. Now, you saw when we started, nice little Flemish coil. I'll tell you how to do that. A lot of people have trouble doing that. And uh, what you end up doing is you have to have a smooth surface like these concrete docks. It can be a little difficult when you have a wood dock with splinters, but sometimes people put pads down. And you just take the center of the, the end of the line, start spinning it, sliding it on the dock, and bring it into a nice coil. Kind of tuck it out of the way, and there you go. So you put that all the way, uh, and you have nice Flemish coils, single line on each one. They're not going to get bound, and you'll be able to get out of here very quickly if you needed to. So thank you for uh, listening to my little tip here. Um, every time I see a bad line, you know, if it's somebody I know, I'll go retie it for him, or if it's uh, something that looks pretty hazardous, I'll help the guy out. But I'd like you to practice doing this and see if you can get your boats tied up properly right from the start. Thank you very much.